You know, I didn't expect it to be that simple. It's like the a joke, a piece of cake for us. Hello everyone, my name is Konstantin and today we are playing BD6 and today we will complete the two Mega Pops achievements. Uh, this is one of the more difficult achievements in this game and we will complete it with the new Dirtling Gunner Tower. I will do it in Challenge Browser, but you, if you want to achieve the actual achievement, you need to go to Logs hard champs and play the actual champs game because if you will try to complete this achievement in the challenge browser you won't be able to get the achievement itself so let's teleport straight to the video so here you go let's begin i made it this way so there will be no hero used at all and Let's begin. So basically what we need in this two mega pops achievement is we need to make one tower pop two million balloons up to round 100 in chimps mode. And you gotta understand that in chimps mode in total there are 2 million 42 in sometimes 45,000 pops. And we need to make one tower pop the vast majority of them like 98 percent of all the pops should belong to one tower and that is a pretty challenging one but we still will be able to do this uh, one of the best practices for this achievement is to use the submarine in the beginning simply because uh, submarine can be submerged later on the upgrade path 300 and it will not uh, steal our pops from the main popping tower, which will be a dirtling gunner in this case Why aren't we using any heroes because heroes also st steal the pops this dirt monkey will have I think around From two to eight thousand pops at the end so we might move it using the air chinook if we can at the end but still Every single detail matters in this achievement. Uh, you cannot neglect any tower and you have to think through in advance. So let's teleport to the point where we afford the Dirtling Gunner. Dirtling Gunner afforded and I think we should put it somewhere in here. Good. And now try to pop as many balloons using Dirtling Gunner as you can. Um, we will allow Submarine to help us out for now because Dirtling is weak on this upgrade path, but upgraded to faster swivel and to advance targeting, good, and I think we can afford submerging the submarine. You upgrade the submersion support right now, and in case anything bad happens, just unsubmerge it to help out, but I think we will be golden here. Now we need to save up for the Dirtling Gunner 0-2-2. Keep in mind that this challenge will involve some micro and we will be controlling the dirtling gunner so that we can pop all the balloons in the beginning. Closer to the end this won't be as necessary when we afford the fourth tiers but for now we got a micro, not well but we get a micro in general. Okay around 21 I recommend to unsubmerge your submarine because this might be the more difficult round for a lot of people and then you as you can see we destroy it no problem and upgrade the power we need the powerful darts still unsubmerge this up for round 22 and put it on strong okay all we need is to pop the stronger balloons and now we have the powerful darts submerge it again and now as we can pop three layers with each dart just not lock in place you should control it manually but keep your cursor or your finger over here so that we can uh, pop is the good tra trajectory for our darts and another pro tip when the balloons sneak by your initial trajectory just switch it to this one Great, and now we afford the faster barrel spin and then the alchemist. Round 27, alchemist on strong, larger potions. He will 
help us destroy those lads. Great. Keep on shooting at everything he pops. And then acidic mixture dip and then the berserker brew. Now I want you to put the glue gunner in here. Um, bigger blobs, stronger glue on strong. It will help out as our dodging gunner a bit. It will slow down the strong balloons. This way we won't waste the pops on the alchemist. Because as you can see alchemist pops almost everything. But when we can uh, slow down the leads. He won't steal as much pops as he is stealing as of now. As you can see, the idea works out perfectly. I read the bug shot on round 39 and I place another glue gunner 012 in the beginning. On round 40, target the mob. We need to shoot at it and we got the aim a bit but at the end of the day it won't be difficult as you can see brilliant now our goal is to save up for the bads lunaria denial system and then we will be able to chill for a while just you can probably lock in place the dartling gunner in here but still i'm not a big fan of locking the dartling gunners simply because sometimes one or two balloons sneak by and you still need to pop them but you can do nothing about it if you are having the locked towers good keep on shooting keep on targeting manually and we are good the buckshot is a pretty amazing upgrade, as you can see it's, it has a lot of damage and pierce sim simultaneously. That is why we can pop the zebras and rainbows so easily. Just boom boom and no such towers existed in this world. Eradicated. Okay, we almost saved up for the BADS, let's teleport to this moment. Round 48, we will upgrade the BADS. We just lack 300 bucks more. There you go, BADS upgraded, put it on target independent and chill for now. We will also upgrade one of our glue gunners on glue splatter and then glue hose. And then we will be saving up for the balloon exclusion zone. Be, be easy. Good. Glue hose afforded and just chill for at least 30 rounds. Also upgrade your alchemist to 4 to 0 and place the monkey village to 0, zero. Alchemist can be in range and out of range doesn't really matter, but ideally it will be out of range so that his own range doesn't increase and he doesn't deal more pops. As you can see with the glue hose, round 63 is a joke to us. 2000 years later. Round 75 is not a problem to us, but Keep in mind that on round 76 you have to micro on your own. Let's change it from target independent to normal and then we need to micro it a bit because we can cause a really bad regrowth form. Around 77 is a joke but on round 78 you also need to follow the balloons like that. Just follow the first balloon with your mouse on round 78 and you will be able to kill it no problem. But remember, if you will leave your tower your dirtling gunner on target independent you will fail on those rounds target independent is stupid uh, if you are in the risky situation here okay let's see as i told you follow the first balloon with the mouse and there you go we killed it uh the second wave will be slightly harder but not by a big margin just do it like that follow with your mouse and you will be good to go the second wave is here look what i'm doing following it with my mouse and just targeting the first balloon good round 78 will be slightly difficult not like significantly difficult um Place your Dirtling Gunner in here and just watch in case many regrow balloons sneak by 
uh, change your targeting to this spot. And as you can see, we are golden. Dirt Monkey is causing the regrow farm, but we have more than enough damage to deal with it. So just chill. Just this is not a high level micro. Just micro your towers a bit. Just hey, have, have a good time playing the Dirting Gunner. It's the tower that is supposed to be microed from the very beginning. And we almost can afford be easy. Just target it. Uh, with the Zomigat rounds, you have to micro it on your own as well. Because Zomigats might deal us a lot of pain. Uh, just do the same thing. Follow it with your mouse or with your um, with your finger. And as you can see, also when the mobs pop out of the Zomigat, try to kill the mobs and the ceramics from them first, and then pop the next BFB. Do not pop all the BFBs at once. You don't want to have a lot of crowded balloons. You know, I didn't expect it to be that simple. It's like the, a joke, a piece of cake for us. Round 82, we will afford the BEZ. Afford it as soon as you can and put your Dirtling on target independent again. And BEZ, target independent. It will destroy everything. Now, upgrade Grow Blocker, radio, radio Scanner and MIB on your village. And the next step is to just buy one or two overclock overclocks. I think two, we can afford two overclocks. It is the ideal thing. Overclocks buff your tower attack speed by two times, meaning and on fifth tiers overclock lasts only half of the um, recovery of the ability recovery for the engineer. Meaning that if we have two abilities. Two, well, both abilities can be used for the half uptime of the new recovery, and thus we'll be able to perma overclock this tower. Okay, now that we upgraded the MAB, BEZ is capable of popping every balloon type in the game. Um, this tier cannot pop LEDs on its own, and here we did it no problem. As far as of now, Dirt Monkey have stolen 3,600 pops, Glue Gunners 0 pops, um, Submarine 781 pop, and the Alchemist nearly 2,000. So the total pops stolen is around 6,000 at this point. This very, very good track record so far. Place your first engineer in this spot. It cannot reach the track. Keep in mind, because if the engineer would reach the track, it would steal our pops. Overclock afforded on round 91, and like after we afforded the BEZ, upgraded the MAB and afforded the overclock, it will be a smooth sailing. Do not worry about anything. Just place another engineer out of range of all the tracks. Good and overclock the BEZ when you see the Zomigats. And once you have two overclocks, just permanently overclock this dude. I think we could even solo this without overclock, but like, as you can see, it's ridiculously strong under overclocks. And as simple as that, we will wreck this map. Let's fast forward to the end and have our glorious victory. On round 95 we afforded the double overclock, now all you need to do is to see when this little uh, key will disappear and then press another overclock ability. As soon as this one disappears, overclock it again, again and again and this way you will easily destroy all the balloons up to round 100. Round 98, one of the most terrifying rounds, let's upgrade the 023 dirt glue gunner just so that we can slow down everything a bit and we almost have two mega pops we will lack i think only hundred thousand before round 100 let's see this is another 100 thousand pops on the screen right now keep on overclocking and target independence solves everything 
we have nine, 1,950,000 right now and we have 100,970,000 keep on overclocking we have 23,000 cash to spare as soon as this key disappears overclock again and around this point and there you have it we did the two mega pops 2,037,864 this is a pretty good score and overall pop count was 2,059,000 because we regrow farmed a bit but as you can see it's not big deal and we did this achievement like from the first try easily okay guys thank you for your attention i know that you will be able to wreck this achievement no problem and get your reward to mega pops there you have it press the like button or dislike button right now depends on how you like this video subscribe to my channel and press the bell notifications icon down below so that you do not miss the new amazing content share this video with your friends and write in the comments what achievements you want to see next on kk gaming channel see you in the next one